wasn't in there's the gifted n-words in, in the book oh you're, yeah and you're popcorning it around and uh i i read what the author said dude I was oh fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i said there was like kids in my class that were fucking dancing around it and i was almost like uh like no, you're supposed to say. It. Yeah. Like you're supposed to read what the the right. author said. Like this is like intended. This is art. But that's such a dirty trick by the teacher being like, which one he's going to say it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> I still don't get that, and I don't think I ever will get it. Why they make you like? Why the teachers say it? Like you could easily just skip over it. What? The N word. Or they could be like, they could have a, a discourse on it beforehand and be like, we're going to say this, or we're not going to yeah. say this. If this is something you could say in its stead. They just fucking left us hanging out. There's black kids in my class. Yeah. yeah. Have them say it. Right. What? Arion, you say this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, popcorn's jumping. Looks like it landed on... out of order here. Just like it landed uh, on Arion again. again. Tip on. <laughs> Who's next? Marcus. Arion. You haven't this is read the sixth in a while. time I've read today. <laughs> <laughs> Make Jackie read. Why am I? Why do I have to read every single time? <laughs> I eat horse in uh, Iceland, right near the black sand beaches. And let me tell you, the farmer was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the two fifty. Yeah, but the, with the, the with the tour dates I got coming up, I don't know if I can swing that. I need all the hundreds I can get. <laughs> A lot of tickets left for Providence this weekend. Come on out. (laughs) A lot of tickets available. If you are listening to this today, which will be Thursday, one show tonight, pretty much every ticket is left. (laughs) So no rush. You could probably buy them at the door. If you're immunocompromised, (laughs) tonight's the show you want to come to. Yeah. You'll have your own table. You'll have your own. One of the last times I smoked ganja was I went to a slightly stupid concert in Maine. No. After I graduated high school. And uh, we got super drunk before, and then we went, we got there early, and we were front row, and everyone was passing around a joint. And I was like that, like young, when you're like really young and you're drunk, and you're kind of just being like crazy and, and, and silly. And I, and I like, I never smoked weed. I, I hated weed. I knew I hated weed then. And I like grabbed the joint. I hit it like 10 times, passed it, and then I had to go just lay in the grass for the rest of the concert <laughs> and miss the entire show. That was before, like the openers hadn't even gone on yet. People were still filing in. And I was just laying in the grass all the way in the back of the venue. <laughs> there was a girl who was a practicing Wiccan person in our high school. Really? And everyone looked at her and we were all, some people were kind of mocked her, but the, those who knew were afraid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Got you have fear. to be. I feared her. You have to. It's not, it's not worth the risk. No, it's better. That's you better hedge. Make fun of the poor kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so much easier. Make fun of the kid whose parents smoke when they drop him off for school every day. Yeah. Not the witch. No, that's crazy. The witch probably had rich kids. It's probably the ultimate act of exactly. rebellion. Yeah. Rich you gotta pick your, you gotta pick your fights. She was actually quite lovely. I, I got to know her. Probably because she cast a spell on you, <laughs> Glinda. Well, it was it was kind of fucked up. Uh, so you know, I was like one of the popular kids that played sports and stuff. Of course, and, um, fast blue this eyes. This girl was like just totally not part of that crowd, and probably black eyes like a beetle. My buddy one day actually bet me. He was like, "I bet you." ten thousand dollars that there's no way you can get her to win prom queen <laughs> and we, i, I think we already all got it right deal <laughs> but i will say it took me an embarrassing amount of time to get it let me just say that she taught me so much more <laughs> than i could have ever taught her yeah but this was really special because people were pulling up chairs and sitting in a circle and everyone was including each other no one was on their phone no, was no. this a duck duck goose game who was in the hang a lot of killers a lot of killers read killers the fucking row. text we had joe list dan legend. soder legend we had jordan jensen oh my god we had Derek Gaines. okay <laughs> uh, i killed a hang recently bad what do you mean? To the point that I had to leave the room because I was so embarrassed. You killed the hang? I killed the hang. I brought the hang down. I was the vibe killer. Damn. Damn. I was at the SNL after party and it was at, when I was at the stand. You brought down this SNL after party And hang? I went down to the green room thinking no one would be in the green room and I was tired and I was like, I want to go down there and just sit down and go on my phone. And I went down and it was all like cool black comics. It was like uh, Michael Che, Derek Gaines, Damn. Sam J, oh. Martin Monroe. 
Monroe Martin. Monroe Martin. And uh and uh they and they were talking about rap music and I and I made a comment about it and they all turned around and looked at me and then just continued the conversation. Oh my god. <laughs> you brought up Slug Christ? <laughs> and I got up and left. And I, my face was like neon red when I was walking out. Ooh, I was like, why tough. did I just do that? That's tough. So dude. he said what? Well I asked him if if there's any point in trying to stop the train, he said at that point to slam on the emergency brakes would do so much damage to the train, we probably wouldn't stop in time. It's not worth it. To damage the train? I think it's, I think it would, throw. It, it could potentially derail the train. Would it, but so what? I mean, they're going 80. But we're safe, we're talking about a 100? life here. It's like, I don't want to damage the train. Do you train. think they look or do you think they look away? Probably look away. Look right? away. Yeah. The question is, once they've hit the kid, do they stop or do they stay? Right. They have time? to stop eventually. They probably hit the kid and they're like, Providence, Rhode Island, <laughs> coming up in 15 minutes. <laughs> they get into the station. By the way, about 25 miles back, you're going to find beef carpaccio <laughs> splattered all over that side of the barn door. Oh, in that doors will open town. on the right. <laughs> Watch the gap. <laughs> Oh man! And if you do, if anyone happens to find a pair of Beats headphones on the, yeah. top of the train, <laughs> Give dibs. Them to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I was at this, and so Dan Carney all week has been, uh, he's been, he's been tweeting about his diarrhea. What kind of stuff was he tweeting? He's got like crazy food poisoning or some shit. His whole Twitter timeline for the last like week has been just I'm the diarrhea. Like even today, I woke up. He's tweeting more about diarrhea. And uh, so I got off stage at the stand last night, and I went over to the bar to say goodbye to John, the bartender, and he was talking to Sean Malaya, who I thought was Dan Carney. And I walked up to him and I patted him on the back and I said, how's the diarrhea? <laughs> and he turned and looked at me and he was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, dude, and then I went, dude, you're talking about it constantly. You can't expect nobody to ask you about it. <laughs> <laughs> you still thought it was him. Dude, I thought it was him the entire we talked for like 15 minutes. <laughs> and and he was like super like stand and I was like, oh, I guess he doesn't want to talk about it. And then uh and then and then and then he just like changed the topic. He was like, anyways, what's new with you? And and it was like a it was like c uncomfortable, but I was like, oh, I guess he doesn't want to talk about it. Like, and then right, I, weirdo. Yeah, Fucking and then I left. And then as soon as I got home, I opened Instagram and he DM'd me and he was like I think I just realized you thought I was Dan Carney that entire time. <laughs> this guy, not. this guy, this is not the one that defended himself. This guy came in and he had been racking up uh, violations for his hot dog stand, operating it without a proper license yeah. or certificate or whatever. And <laughs> over the course of two years of tickets, he owed the city seven hundred and eighty five thousand dollars holy shit <laughs> and he goes what am i going to do <laughs> yeah. i sell hot dogs <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. my accountant kind of roasted me in a way he was like uh he was like so you're a comedian right and i was like yeah and he was like uh he's like it says you for costumes you only have 57 dollars in expenses and I was like, yeah, I, I kind of just wear the same thing every day. <laughs> and he was like, you don't have like uh, like puppets or anything like, <laughs> like, like Jeff Dunham? And I was like, no. And he's like, yeah, he's a little bit more of a unique stage presence than you, I wow. have to imagine. And I was like, god damn, dude. What you the don't fuck? bring You got to have one of those lined up you when got someone him. says... Do you have a joke? You need a one. People want a joke like it's a, on a bubblegum wrapper. Yeah. They want it like uh, right. they read it in Mad Magazine or exactly. a Playboy or some shit like that. Yeah, they don't want a bit. I have one and I never would do it. But uh, then all my other stuff, it's like, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? I'm going to run through my five minute U-Haul joke. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the one? What's the one that you got? Oh, it was uh, it was going to be uh, why are priests super anti school shooting? Because they're running out of kids to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the following two th things would make you feel more guilty if you were to be the reason for them. One, you blind a child. Okay. Two, Wahlberg. you paralyze a child. Hmm. 
Damn, that's such a good question. It's a good, well, what's, a good what's question. What's going to be harder for you to live with for the rest Probably, of your life? Paralyzing. Oh, I was going to say blind. Really? See, it's not so obvious. Yes, this is one of the great uh, questions of our time, I think. People I would will say debate blind. this like red, bless, red dress, gold dress. Mm. Yeah. Whatever, blue dress, gold dress. Why blind? Good. Well, full, so full body paralyzed. So or like the that's legs, it, that or like is legs tricky. Down. Um, yeah, let's just say legs they can down, still one they night can of still, sleep. I'd forget about they can it. Still, <laughs> <laughs> wait, so, <laughs> you said legs down, one night of sleep. 